guys, Hannah here and welcome to today's mini Zentangle session. Today is week six, day one, and the materials we're going to use are a black fine liner pen, if you don't have one, a black biro, a black tortillon or blending stump, and if you haven't got one, an earbud, and a black pencil along with a white piece of card which is five centimeters squared or two inches squared. So if you would like to pause the video, go and get your materials and when you're sitting comfortably, we can begin. So I'm starting with my pencil and I'm just putting in a very light pencil border. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you two ways to start this tangle. So those of you that don't have dexterity issues um, and you feel comfortable to start straight off onto a page, we're going to start with pencil circles just to form a grid and I've managed to get three across and four down. And you'll notice that they're a similar distance apart, uh, both across and down. For those of you that do struggle um, and would prefer to use something a little bit more, um, well, to make it easier for you, I'm just using this dotty stencil here. Um, and this was just designed for those that do have dexterity issues or for the younger children that struggle to get the dots of equal distance apart. And you'll notice again, I didn't do a border on this one. Um, so I've managed to get this one, two, three, four, five across and five down. So what I'll do is I'll start off in pen and I'm going to draw on the one that we've put the dots on. Uh, sorry, the dots on without the stencil and then I'll move on to the ones with the stencil and you'll be able to see the uh, the difference. So this tangle is extremely easy and I'm just turning it over so that I can show you a larger one as an example. Now the general gist of this is exactly the same. It's all about the takeoff of the pen and the landing of the pen and by that I mean um, I'm starting the takeoff on the left hand side at the top and I'm going to finish at the bottom of the one of the uh, dot that's on the right hand side. But in the middle I'm going to do a curve. So if you turn it to the side, uh, that side I beg your pardon, no neither side, I thought it looked a little bit like an S but clearly it, it, it's not the case. So to draw that without the dots, it's going to be something like that. And the reason for showing you that now is because we want each one of these to look as similar as possible. So going back to the original side, <clears throat> I'm going to go back over and just colour those dots in. And one of the good things about this tangle is, <clears throat> please excuse me, I have terrible hay fever at the moment and it's giving me a bit of a frog in my throat. So one of the good things about this particular tangle is the variations that can come out of it. So you can have small dots or you can have larger dots uh, and I will show you some examples uh, at the end. But to start off with, the easiest way to explain it is on small dots. So holding my pen with my right hand, I just turn my tile slightly off skew and the reason being is because I want to get that flow when I do that pen stroke and when I do the next pen stroke I'm going to start on this one and I'm going to do exactly the same. So we've now got two and it's all about where you start with the pen and where you finish. So the takeoff is at the top centre and the landing point is at the bottom centre. And all I'm going to do is just continue. 
And again, for those of you that are unsure, feel free just to practice on your reverse side. Again, it is up to you. Now, I'm going to turn my tile that way and the lines will then go vertical. Or I could turn the, it that way. It's, it's, not, it's not really a big deal. And then just slightly off kilter again. And again, I'm going to repeat. So I take off at the centre of the top and then I finish. I land up at the centre of the bottom. And this is an opportunity to round some of those circles as you go. And that is pretty much it. So that's the one that I've done that does that I didn't uh, that I hand drew this, the dots without the template. And now I'm going to quickly do the one that I use the stencil. And you'll notice that I didn't colour the dots in solid black to start off with. That's not a problem. Um, it, they're just there as a guideline and when you finish you, sh you won't be able to see them. And the exact principle starts at the top centre and finish at the bottom centre. Bottom center. Turn the tile and then repeat the other way and it this point if you wanted to this is where you could finish by adding the solid circles and again that's up to you so I'll draw some with and I'll leave some that are blank and then you can see and decide which ones you prefer oh and I'm going a little bit too quick That's finished. So I'm going to put the two side by side now and you'll notice that this one obviously is much more uniform. Those of you that like it uniform, that's perfect. Those of you that aren't bothered too much, then this is perfectly acceptable. It looks fine, just, just the same. So I'm going to give you some examples of ones that I've drawn and this is one that I did earlier and this one I've added the shading on and I've really coloured in those circles. And this is one, and I'll show you how to do this one in a minute, where I've added some shading, but I've also added a centre uh, squiggly shaped square, I suppose. Um, this is one that I've done, and again, I'll show you this in a minute, where if you remember the tangle we did uh, last week, where we put the centre rice shaped in on a diagonal and then the opposite diagonal we stopped and then restarted the other side. That's very similar. So I'm going to go back to the original one now and I'm going to show you how we add the extras if you want to. So starting on this one, I'm just following the exact contours and drawing that sort of square-ish shape in the centre. And again, all I would do when I was drawing would be to draw all of those lines going that way, turn and repeat until you've got all of the sections filled with a square well off I don't know it's a principle of a square but you're following the contours so that's how I would draw that one now if I wanted to add those corner diagonals what I would do on this one is again I would turn it to the side and I would start in the bottom left hand corner to the top right hand corner and I would remember that original take off and landing shape and I would replicate that in here 
and then I would draw another one to its right. So I'll show you that again and then to the right so we, we leave a gap in the middle. And then to do the one in the opposite direction again I would stick with the original contour and I would stop when I meet the first one. And again, you don't have to do this. This is entirely an example to show you the way that you can embellish it. Now to add shading on this one is, is very simple. There are a couple of ways. Um, you could, if you wanted to, this one looks like it could be sitting, this one is lower and this one is higher. So you could just add a bit of shading at that point there and then blend it and again that just gives it a little bit of dimension, depth and dimension. If you have drawn it this way then you would want the second diagonal shape to be shaded so that that looks like it's underneath. You don't want to put too much pencil on here because you might find that the shading overtakes it. What I've done on this example here is I've actually done the shading around all four insides. Uh, but again, that's, that's up to you. And the shading on here, all I've done is exactly the same as this one where I've done it either side of it. This one here, which is the closest one to the first one, I've done it on... Well, I've done it on four sides, but he more heavily on the these two, and then just a slight bit there. I quite like the way this one's uh, this one's come out. And then the two other ones that I've done as examples is this one, um, and this tangle uh, we're going to learn a variation of tomorrow, I believe. And then finally, this one I've done where the original dots were actually two centimetres apart rather than one. So starting here, they are that far apart. It's probably not a great example, but you, you see what I mean. And then on these ones here, I've actually drawn three lines. So this was the first one that we drew, and then I've done one underneath it and one at the top of it. And then with the shading, I've shaded emanating from that, so each of the circles. And then finally, this is one that I did. Um, I'm not sure I quite like the way that it's come out, um, but I used um, the sepia 01 pen as well as the, bra uh, the black 01 pen. And what I've done is I've done the one centimetre dots apart all the way around the border. Let me move those out of the way. Um, and I've then inside I've done, I've used the sepia brown. And then in the centre, I've done the dots where they're two centimetres apart. And then in the centre of each one of those, I've decorated it like I have here, which again, I will be showing um, in tomorrow's session with a new tangle pattern. Well, that's it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed the session. Please feel free to leave any comments or if you have any questions to ask, just let me know. And I look forward to you joining me tomorrow. Bye for now.